हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज अशोक दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ एपेक्स ट्रिगर्स इनटू प्रिपरेशन सीरीज वेर इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द बेसिक्स रिलेटेड टू एपेक्स ट्रिगर्स विद प्रैक्टिकल स्नेरियोज सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉस्ट प्रीवियस वीडियोज और वॉन्ट टू लर्न ट्रिगर्स फ्रॉम स्क्रेच देन यू कैन फाइंड लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड गो थ्रू देम एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अन अदर प्रैक्टिकल स्नेरियो which is very important because this kind of scenarios we used to face in our day to day development and in most of the interviews as well all right now let's have a look on use case so the use case is create an automated system where the average age of contacts associated with an account is calculated and updated in a custom field on the account object which means here in salesforce we need to build a functionality that will calculate average age of all the contacts which belongs to an account i mean we need to calculate average age for only those contacts which are child of that account not for all contacts and then we need to update that average age into a custom field on account object right so this is the whole requirement and now i hope you are clear with this use case or requirement so let's discuss the solution approach and if we break this whole requirement then here we have two parts where first is calculation of average age and second is save into custom field in account object which means we need to create a custom field on account object to store average age so first let's create that field then we will move further and now in order to do that let's open setup and here open object manager and open account object now under this fields and relationship if you want to create new field then we can click on this new button and in this new field we want to store average years so we will select data type as number and here let's provide field name and length 3 would be sufficient and rest all things leave as it is and click on next and again click on next and finally click on save all right we have created new field to store average age and now let's discuss what approach we should use to achieve this requirement i mean to automatically calculate and save average age so this is kind of a roll up scenario where we need to roll all the child records to do calculation and update calculated value into parent record so in this case what approach we should take that will depends on the type of relationship between objects like if we have master detail relationship then we can use an out of box feature that is roll up summary though there we don't have direct way to calculate average but yeah still using roll up summary we can calculate sum and count and using formula fields average can be calculated right but here we have lookup relationship between account and contact so we can't leave this roll up summary feature now in this case we need to write custom logics either using automation tools like record trigger flows or using apex triggers so now here in this video we will achieve this requirement using apex triggers and as we have discussed if you want to create apex triggers then first we need to know few things where first is on which object we should create trigger yeah so identifying a right object for trigger is very important and for that you have to find out triggering point triggering point means when action is happening or getting done so if we recall our requirement then here we have to calculate average age from all the contacts which are associated to an account so here we need to focus on association like when association get changed between account and contact and here we have few cases when association get impacted like on create and update contact record with account field and delete and undelete contact record right so there are four cases when association between account and contact get changed it means we can consider these four actions as triggering point and these actions are based on contact object so here we will create trigger on contact object okay and now next point we have which trigger events we will use so as we have discussed association can be changed on four actions like on record insert update delete and undelete and here we will calculate and update data into parent record which means in related records and you know if you want to update fields in related records then we have to write logics in after triggers so finally trigger events will be after insert after update after delete and after undelete okay and now next we have which context variables we will use so here mostly we will use trigger dot new because we won't perform any action based on contact id so trigger dot new map will not required we can simply work on list 
and if you can see here in this table trigger.new is available in all the events except delete like it will be null in case of before delete and after delete operations so in case of after insert update and undelete we will use trigger.new and in case of after delete we will go with the trigger.old okay so now by considering all these points let's move into the practical implementation and open our code editor as of now i'll go with the developer console so let's open it and here first let's create a new trigger on contact object but i think in previous video i have already created a trigger on contact object and you know as a best practice we should always try to create only one trigger per object so let's use that trigger only and to open that let's click on file then open and select triggers and this is our contact trigger in case if you don't have trigger created on contact object in that case you can click on file then new then apex triggers and here provide trigger name and select contact as object okay so as a first step now we have trigger on contact object and as per second step let's add required events so to complete this requirement we want to run our code in case of after insert after delete after undelete and after update and three are already here let's add after delete as well all right now we have trigger and configured all the required events so now it's time to write our logic and as a best practice we should always write logic list triggers and for that you can use any trigger framework or at least helper class and i have already created this helper class in previous video so i will use this now let me open it but in case if you don't have created then simply create an apex class and give its name contact trigger helper okay now here let's create a method to perform calculation and update value in account record all right here we have created a static method with void return type and method name is calculate and update average as in account this method name is quite long but it is self-explanatory i mean by name itself you can identify what this method will do right so we should always try to give meaningful name to methods and here taking context list as input so while calling this method from trigger we will pass trigger.new or old context variables and you know as I explained in previous video that triggers may contain up to 200 records in single iteration or page. So here in this list also we can get contacts up to 200 right. So we should always write code in bulkified way and these contacts may belong to multiple accounts. So here first we will declare a set to hold all the contacts account IDs. So let me write code for the same. all right now here what we are doing first we have declared a set to hold all the account ids and here using for each loop we are iterating each contact and checking that is this contact has account id or not because this account id field is optional or non-mandatory maybe user save contact without account selection as well so it is better to have this check and if we have value in this account id field then we are adding that account id in account id set okay so till now in this account id set we will have all the account ids which are being used as parent on contacts in this trigger iteration and here we have added a check that if this account id set is empty which means we have not assigned account with any of contact or we do not have any account id in this set then we are returning program from here because in that case we don't have anything to update right and now to do calculation First we need to select all the contacts which are associated with these accounts using a SQL query. So for that let me write query here. Alright 
Now here we have declared a list of account and assigning output of this SQL query and here we are selecting ID from account object also all the associated contacts using sub query and passed account ID set in where condition. So finally this query will return as account ID and their associated contacts list for all the accounts which are available in this set okay. And now here let's iterate this accounts list to work with particular account. Now in this account variable, we will have a list of all the associated contacts. So to get their average age, first we need to calculate total age of all the associated contacts. And for that, let's iterate all the contacts to extract their age and store into variable. Okay, so we have added a for each loop on accounts.contacts. So in this context property, we will get all the associated contacts from subquery and you know, in context object, we have a standard field birth date, which is stores date of birth value. And now if you want to use that field here for calculation, then first we need to include that in query. So let me add that here with context subquery. And this field is optional. So here first let's add a condition to check null. So let's use if then contact then birth date not equals to null and now if we have value in this field then let's calculate edge and for that there are many ways we have in apex but here i will use days between or months between method okay so here we have used months between static method of date class and pass today's date as input. Now this method will calculate and return the number of months between these two dates. So finally this code will give us as in months. Now to store it, let's declare a variable with integer data type and assign this calculated months value and also add plus here. So it will always add new value in old for each trigger iteration. And this is our in total months variable. We will get edge of all the associated contacts. And now here outside of this loop, let's calculate average edge. And to calculate average, we will require total contacts count. So let me declare a few more variables here. Okay. Now here we have added two more variables, count and average years with default value zero and also incrementing value of this count variable in context loop if contact has birth date because to calculate average age we will consider only those contacts who has birth date value okay and now let me write formula to calculate average age okay here first we have checked that total months value is greater than zero or not if yes, then we have used this formula here like total months divided by count to get average months and to convert this months value into years, we are again dividing it to 12, right? So this is how we can calculate average as in years, okay? Now as a next step, we will save this value into account record in context average as field and for that, first we need to include that field in this SQL query. And now let's assign this average ES value. Okay. And now to save into database, let's use update DML statement outside of this for loop. It seems this field name is invalid. So let me check it in object. Okay. So this is the field name we have used here. So let me copy it from here and paste here. Okay. So I think we are done with our method where first we are extracting all the account IDs and storing this account ID set and here querying data from database including associated contacts and using this code, we are calculating and updating average edge into account object, right? Now let's call this method into trigger. So as we have discussed, we want to perform this calculation in these four trigger events 
and this if condition will become true for these three events like for after insert after update and after undelete so let's call that method here and pass trigger.new as context variable okay and to cover delete operation we have to write another condition because as we have discussed in case of delete operation we won't get values in trigger.new context variable this will be null so in that case we will use trigger.old context variable okay here we have used trigger.operation type context variable to add condition and if you don't know about this then please go through the first video of this series where I have explained this in detail but in nutshell this helps us to check trigger event type with single condition I mean we don't need to add separate condition to check is after and is delete operations right so now this condition will become true only in case of after delete operation and here we have called that same method and passed trigger.old context variable okay it seems we are done with code and now to test it let's open accounts tab in salesforce app and in previous video we have added five contacts under this demo account seven so let's open it and open its contacts in new tab here we have five contacts under this account and as of now we have not assigned date of birth in any of these but now let's try to add in this so click on edit and find birth date field and here let's select any date for demo so i have selected 1st july 2000 here which means 23 years from today now let's click on save contact updated successfully and now let's verify this value in our account record here let's click on detail here it is you can see 23 why 23 because as of now we have only assigned date of birth to single contact so average will also be 23 and now let's try to add in one more contact and see what will happen here i have selected 2010 which means 13 years from today all right now 13 plus 23 36 so average should be 18 And you can see 18 here which means our trigger is working as expected here I'm testing this trigger with only one scenario that is update contact but I would like you to test it with all other scenarios as well like by creating new contact deleting and undeleting contact okay so that's it in this video where we have seen how we can achieve custom rollup functionality using apex triggers if this video helped you to learn something new then please help me too by like and subscribe my youtube channel this is completely free for you but really helpful for me and if you have any question or suggestions then do let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching i will see you next video with another interesting use case